vlog I'm just gonna film for a few days um just the interesting bits I feel like I was doing some day in my life videos but honestly like there's nothing interesting left to film for those so I'm just gonna kind of go for a few days and only show you the interesting bits so just made a chai latte and let's get on with some work so good um yeah so in this video I want to I bought a few things to like ramp up my room I want to make some changes not necessarily I bought some stuff but most of it I just want to change around what I already have um so I'm going to do that in this video I think yeah and just to show my my day to day I haven't been on my phone yet but it's 8 30 guys we're so close to 100k and like I cannot even say those words like just that coming out of my mouth I'm like surely I'm in like an alternate universe or something I just cannot believe it so I've got 96.2 Guys, I literally just can't deal. I, if you're new, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you've been here for a long time, which I know a lot of you have, I feel like huge thank you for sticking around, basically. Um, I'm gonna have a little look at my to-do list. I'll tell you everything that we've got on today. I'm to finish editing my video. That's the first thing on today's to-do list. I'm not doing uni work today just because I do take a day off every few days because otherwise I get really like demotivated with it because I don't have to do it like I don't have an exam I don't have any assessment so it's it's quite difficult to keep motivated for it so I'm not pushing myself too hard on it stretch journal and uh, workout and I also think I want to go through emails and I might go for a walk or something today because my workout's just in my house and I've realized that I'm like so much I don't know I want to get more exercise in. I realise on days where I work out in my house I don't like utilise the fact that I can go on a walk or something so first thing I'm gonna do is import all the footage from my camera to my laptop so that I can get editing. some porridge for breakfast and I'm just gonna get editing I replied to some emails and imported all my footage so so it's like a blueberry porridge which, which is why it's this really weird color and I've put banana strawberry and some peanut butter and coconut on top and I finished the rough cut of the video so that's basically just like stitching all the clips together and then I'm gonna finish this editing this video tomorrow I think I'm gonna read for a little bit right now yeah I started this book last night I've read only like 30 pages but I like it so far I feel like I'm the last person to read this but I just really want to watch the show and like I have to read the book first so last like 20 minutes trying to get it all off of my hands <sighs> that was so difficult if anyone has the same problem with paint i used coconut oil and that is what eventually got it off but i'm making a protein smoothie thing it's got banana ice protein powder and milk and i'm gonna go read my book in the sun I just took a little Instagram pic and I'm gonna go work 
out. So I've said it loads of times, I use the Shreddy app. Today is upper body and abs. I had to switch loads of the exercises because normally only one or two of them is like only a gym appropriate exercise, but today like loads of them were. So I've kind of just like made this whole workout myself, but that's fine. I'm on page 60 of the book now. And it's really, I just think it's actually written so uniquely. I've never read a book that's written like that. Just like the style of writing. Like for example, the things that are like spoken are not in speech marks. I don't know, I've never read a book like that. And just like, not just that, but very different. I really like that, so. I'm gonna work out in the garden because it's still sunny and I feel like the more time I spend in the outdoors, the better for my mental health, so. We just had tea and can we appreciate my dessert that I've made so I've melted? This looks like a lot of chocolate but it's only, it was only like three pieces so yeah and then some strawberries, dates, peanut butter for the dates like so excited. Hey guys so it's like 8pm now and I've put on full grey tracksuit and I'm actually gonna go on a little walk. Normally me and my brother will go on walks together but he's being annoying and doesn't want to come today. I was gonna not go but I feel like I'll feel better if I do and I haven't done any cardio today. I've still got half the podcast I was listening to before left. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on a little walk, probably like 20, 30 minutes. It was a nice sunny day, so it's kind of like sunset now, but it's pretty, so. Good morning, happy Wednesday. So, so this morning I just woke up at like eight. I did a little bit, tiny little bit of uni work and I've just been replying to some emails. It's about 10 o'clock now. Yeah, I need to finish up the edit on my what I eat in a day video, which is actually sponsored. So I need to submit it to the brand the end of tomorrow, but I'm hoping to do it all today just cause I, I don't like deadlines being like too close, like, it gives me stress, so I like to do things in advance. I'm gonna try to sit here and finish that all up now, and I think that's everything I have. I've obviously written a to-do list. Honestly guys, if you don't make to-do lists, like, give it a go for one day, it will change your life. Yeah, so I think that's basically all of my aims for today. The weather looks so nice outside, and it's meant to be about 20 degrees later, so I'd really like to get everything done um, before like one o'clock-ish so that I can enjoy some sunshine even if I like go outside and in the sun and then do a bit more work this evening but yeah I'd really like to get a little bit of a tan. Yeah I had matcha today, I've been switching between chai and matcha. I don't know what's my favourite 
I think matcha is better for me, but I think chai is fun. I only started having chai lattes like a week ago, so I feel like it's all still exciting, you know? Yeah, that's what we have on today. I'm actually going to be making tea for the family later. I'm going to be doing some baking as well. Like, it's going to be a good day. And it's nice weather, it's sunny, so I'm in a good mood. So right now I'm just going to get on with the rest of the editing. Well, I would just quickly show you my notebooks because I'm literally in love with them. So this is my diary. It's from Papier and I just really like how it's set up. Just like a weekly spread. And then this is my notes but so I put all my to-do lists in there and then in here I have like plans for videos and like that sort of thing um this is also from the same company I really like the print on this and then this is my journal so it's a moleskin one which is so so nice now because oh I also went in the pool um, we have like a paddling pool because my mom like loves swimming and before lockdown and everything she used to go swimming every single day in an outdoor pool so we have a big ish paddling pool and that was my first time going in it it's freezing but it's actually really nice on a day like today yeah now I'm gonna do some baking my mom makes me wants me to make flapjacks so I'm gonna make those and also I'm making tea tonight for the family so I'm gonna make half of it now just because it stresses me out a little bit if I don't, if I've got too much to make. So I'm gonna make the salad now and then make, I'm gonna have make buffalo cauliflower later on. in the fridge and now I'm making the buffalo cauliflower so if you're wondering you make like the sauce um, I'm using Elsa's wholesome life her recipe she's got a YouTube video on it toss the cauliflower in that made up of like flour and spices and milk so hey guys so it is now what even is the time 10 to 5 um, we normally eat at 6 30 so I'm gonna try and get my workout in before that the cauliflower things take 40 minutes to cook so my plan let me think about my plan go on a run that normally takes about half an hour and then I like to do an ab workout so that's another 10 minutes so that's 40 minutes if I leave at 5 I'm done with my workout at 5 40 then I think I'm gonna put the cauliflower in for 20 minutes go have my shower and get clean and then I have to brush on the, the like buffalo sauce and then cook for another 20 minutes that should work I have been kind of busy today actually I don't even know how I think well not busy I was like outside reading my book but um I've just got on my phone and I realized I've barely been on my phone today my screen time for today is one hour kind of impressed with that I don't know I know that obviously it's normal to have like a higher screen time at the moment but to feel a bit like calmer if my screen time isn't really high so that made me happy but yeah I'm gonna have a more relaxed evening obviously I've had a relaxing day but like I did quite a lot of work this morning and then I was in the kitchen for like an hour so yeah but I'm gonna go on my run I'm wearing quite a colorful outfit this pink top some night like, pros but the band is like neon yellow <laughs> this is like the weirdest way to show you like these little socks so tall on them and pretty cute yeah i'm gonna listen to another podcast on the run hopefully it's not too painful <laughs> okay so i just finished my run and then i did my ab workout in the garden even though i get like hot it's so nice when it's sunny just because i don't know i feel so like happy and i listen to the girls bathroom podcast which is one of my favorites it comes out on a wednesday and today's wednesday so yeah i've just put the buffalo cauliflower into the oven and i've set a timer for 20 minutes on my phone and gonna have a shower and just like put on my comfy clothes and everything ready for a chill evening so yeah there's somebody in the shower right now but once they are out i will be right in there
cauliflower out and put on the barbecue marinade type thing. The video, she explains the whole method, so I'm just gonna link that below. Um, I also made the cheesy sauce that she like describes in the video. And then I've made a couscous salad. In the salad, I put this. It's meant to be like feta cheese, um, Bio Life um, Block, Greek White Block is what it's called. And I've tried a bit of it, and it tastes actually really nice. So I'd really recommend. Um, I think it's good for like salads and stuff. Guys, I just took down the Polaroid wall. I've literally got so many Polaroids. That's not even all of them. I've had all of those. This is like painful to look at because I know how much even just like one of these costs. And I have so many. Yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've been like buying a couple new things for my room. And the Polaroid wall is just something I want to take down. I'm going to fix all that blue tag in a minute, obviously. I'm going to go through these and pick my favourite ones, I think. Because I do want to have some up somewhere. I just need to like work out where and how. But I just feel like I had too many up. Some of them were from like 2015, which is just a bit too far back for me. So I'm going to go through that. Guys, I'm just looking at this picture from 2016. I've been actually enjoying this one. I've got so many memories. But this is from 2016. Look how long my hair is. That one's me. <laughs> can tell that's insane hey guys so it's now 10 30 p.m oh my god i look really red and tired <laughs> but i've just been working on my bedroom for the past few hours with like youtube videos in the background and stuff because like i said i have some stuff coming in the post hopefully in the next couple days i just wanted it to be like ready for those things to go in I'm not going to show you too much. I showed like a little bit in this video. I've taken down the Polaroid wall that was here and I got off all the blue tack. Yeah, I made like a couple other minor adjustments, but I'm going to do a room tour coming very soon once I've got all the new things. Yeah, it feels kind of plain right now because I've taken everything down that I don't want, but I haven't put up the new stuff. It will feel good soon. I'm going to end this video here because I feel like I've probably got enough footage. I have such a problem where I film way too much. I just have so much editing, so I'm just going to end the video here. I feel like hopefully... Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, there's lots of talk of lockdown being loosened within the next week. Maybe even that will have already happened when I get this video up. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I love you very much. I will see you next week. Bye.